floor is in. Yay! Hi guys, so we didn't work much on the van the past three weeks because the weather, um, it, well it sucked, it was too cold, it rained a lot, it snowed, so, um, and since the van is not in a garage but on a parking lot, we can't really work when the weather, weather is like that. But today it's dry, tomorrow it will not rain either and um, the temperatures are up. So, so Jordi is now placing all of these pieces of wood um, to glue them to the floor of the van. The entire structure is in, glued down, and we are now putting in the layers of underlayment. As you can see, we have one, two, and Jordi's bringing the next. So we added the soot floor to add some weight um, in order to get the glue to dry properly and then we added these um, packets of cork insulation plates as well just to add some more weight without harming the floor underneath. Uh, so yeah, that's it for today. So two parts of the floor are done now. We are um, currently fixing the third part of the subfloor and floor um, so I thought I would explain what we have done to um, to cut and fit the cork floor onto the subfloor so here we have um, the cork flooring which is cut to the perfect size for this sheet of underlayment which is the subfloor these two are already finished and these parts of cork have been um, painted with glue that was yesterday evening and um, that part of subfloor as well. So now we will um, one by one take these small pieces of cork and fit them onto the underlayment to match the rest and when that's done we will have to varnish them twice or three times and uh, we hope that we can do that all today um, or probably tomorrow morning and then we will um, place the floor in the van and ins insulate the flooring so that's the job for the New Year's weekend. Uh, when we bought this cork floor the company had an offer for a bulk buy of 10 square meters of this floor of that floor and we really liked it and it was quite cheap for cork it was super cheap as a flooring so um, yeah we bought that and once we finished the first layer we found out that half or no well like three square meters was uh, a different type um, which we the, we obviously didn't open all of the packages so we found out too late and we contacted them and I think they are sending us some more um, and yeah let's hope that we get some more because we um, obviously we finished the floor now and we just had enough but we have a different part that we also want to cover in the same type of cork um, and we might also use it as a backsplash for the kitchen because it's super watertight if you varnish it probably properly so 
yeah, let's hope that we get more of this stuff. Um, and we might be able to use the rest as well, but yeah. And a great thing about this glue is that you can apply it and you have to wait for it to be completely see-through or approximately three hours. Um, but you can also apply it at night and then leave it overnight. And um, so it's like a double contact glue. It only works if you glue two surfaces. So you can touch it um, um, and it feels relatively dry, but then you um, apply it to the floor, uh, stick it to the floor and it will adhere properly, but you won't um, have glue everywhere. So. And it does work quite well. So once you've glued uh, the surfaces, there's no rush in applying it. You can do it two hours after, but you can even wait 12 hours. So even if something goes wrong uh, or you have to hurry, rush out the door or something, there's no need to um, finish the jo job. You can just come back an hour later and then finish it. So it's now the next day and we will be installing the floor and the insulation underneath uh, today. But I thought I would give you a quick tour of our apartment and all of the van stuff that we have inside right now. So this is the room in which we usually uh, do our work. Um, so here's some leftover cork with some varnish. Then we have underlayment uh, part one, part two, part three. Completely finished and dry. It looks great. And then we have some more varnish the glue, um, some other stuff. Here we have a uh, cork insulation plate packet number one, number two, the cork snippets that we'll be using this morning, some extra cardboard to make a template for the floor in the front of the van. But here we have the Max Air fan over there, another packet of insulation, a random chair that doesn't fit in the other room currently, um, some excess underlayment, which um, came with the um, underlayment sheets that we use for the subfloor. Then we have a dog crate. We will be um, installing this under the bed. Then we have some industrial cork, which we'll be using to insulate the floor underneath the chairs in the front of the van. Then we have some extending cables, more, and um, the front seat. And here in the hallway we have the bench that also goes in the front of the van. Then we have some more excess underlayment wood, a pallet that came with the insulation material, and then we have another packet of cork insulation.